Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in Disc Room. This was developed by JW, Kitty, Jukio and Dom, published by Devolver Digital, and it's usually available for £12.49, but it's included in Xbox Game Pass, so, as I always say, go get the hell out of Game Pass. So quick summary, we basically play as a scientist and go from room to room with giant discs trying not to die. Sounds simple, <laughs> well it actually is, thanks to the beauty that is accessibility options to make life way easier. <laughs> Seriously. Now, the achievements are quite varied, a lot of story related, there's quite a few miscellaneous ones, but the main ones we need to do and could still be tricky even with the accessibility options on, is dying from every single disc, so basically we have to find 64 discs and die from them, and surviving for at least 20 seconds in each room. A lot are easy, but there will still be a few that require a few tries. Remember, you're still going to be dying a hell of a lot, so don't get too angry. <laughs> now, one more thing I should mention is, this isn't a full walkthrough, as you just need to go from room to room, completing the easy objectives, which I'll explain a bit more on in just a touch, but it is a 100% achievement guide, so I'll show you what to do, give you hints and tips for certain tricky parts until we reach the end. One, one more note, the game can tend to be buggy on, quite buggy on terms of when the achievement unlocks, and if any at all. I missed out on two achievements annoyingly because they didn't unlock. But anyway, we're going to get this done in around three to four hours. So the first thing we're going to do, go to settings, press the right bumper to go over to the menu options, and you see where it says disk speed and hazard speed. They are the two main important ones. We're going to put those all the way down to 10%. Game speed, I would leave at just 100 or 120, whatever. Goal difficulty doesn't really matter, um, you can put it down to 10 or 100%, that's fine. But the hazard speed and the disc speed, make sure to put those down to 10%, because that is what is going to make life easier. So, we're not invincible, um, but it makes life a hell of a lot easier. So, if you press the start button, um, at any point you will see this, and this is the map where it says rooms at the top. So that is what we'll be using there to go from room to room to find out what we need to do to unlock, to get into the next room, etc. But what we're going to do is get um, the first uh, missable achievement. What we need to do, as soon as you die here, we're going to press start to pause the game, left button to select menu, go up to quit to main menu, and then select quit to main menu. You need to do that in under two seconds. So if you do, it may take a couple of tries, but press to pause the game, left bumper to select the menu, go uh, go up to quit to main menu and then select A to quit to main menu. If you've done that in under two seconds, you will get the rage quit achievement. Next up, we're going to get the teleporter accident achievement. So if you press the start button there, um, just go on to any other room. So press A to actually start in a room. Don't die, press the start menu, go into another room, it'll say this will end your current run, are you sure? Say yes, and that is what will get you the teleporter accident achievement. So we're just going to get it first, you know, the, a couple of easy ones um, out of the way. Next, what we're going to do is just press and hold the right bumper for 10 seconds straight, without dying. Very, very easy with the disc speed as they are, but if you keep doing that for a whole 10 seconds, you will get the speed demon achievement. Now again, we've obviously done it for more than 10 seconds, but, uh, you know, for some reason it's taking its time. So as you can see, when you fast forward the time, you can obviously see the time is going a lot faster. Um, we're also going to get the minute achievement here for surviving 60 seconds in any room. So, there you go, that finally unlocks. So as soon as you've hit one minute, now you can pretty much die if you want to. There we go, that's fine. Um, so yeah, so that'll get the first couple of achievements out of the way. Now, as you can see right there, then, um, it'll obviously, it's obviously got discs at the top. Now, it'll show you how many discs are in each room, but it won't show you um, which ones that you need to die from. So that one you have to do yourself. On the map, it will show you as well. Um, if there are any discs that you still have to die from in any particular room, it will show you so you know exactly where to go. You j again, you just have to figure out how to do it. Um, where it says rooms there on the left hand side, die from four disc, disc types, they are the little objectives that we've got to do. Now when we do those objectives, um, that will open up other rooms for us. So you can't just, you know, bash through, get it done in, you know, 10, 20 seconds and keep going. So as you can see, the two that are lock, locked here means that we have to survive for 10 seconds. Now, this is why I say to put the goal difficulty up all the way to 100% on the settings accessibility menu. Um, so if, because if you put it down to 10%, it'll basically say that you only have to survive for one second, but that won't open up the room. So you have to basically survive for 10 seconds. Um, 
Now, usually, again, in each room, there are usually only two, three, maybe four in the later levels uh, of uh, certain discs, which are fine. Um, so, yeah, so to, just to get to the next one, then, just have a look at the left-hand side. Just, if, if there are no rooms that are unlocking, that is, you know, just have a look at the sort of left-hand side and think, right, what have I got to do? Obviously, for this one, it was surviving for 10 seconds, which, again, for the majority, the objective is very easy. So, as you can see, the next one has opened up when we press the start button. And, again, usually, in each room, it will have something like survive 10 seconds, or maybe in one room, it'll say, you know, survive five seconds in six rooms, something like that. They're all very, very easy, though. So for this room again, then, let's just see. Um, that, again, obviously, is a new disc that you can do. Now, what I would... Now, what I ended up actually doing was I started a level. This is where we get the new dash ability, by the way. Um, so you can hold the A button to dash through disc, which, again, if you were playing legit, would come in mega handy. Still comes in handy now, actually, even with the disc speed as it is. Um, but what I do, every time I start a new room, I die with as many discs as I can see, some of the new ones, um, and then I go ahead and do the objectives or do the achievement afterwards. Obviously, remember, we need to try and be surviving for 20 seconds in every room and dying by all 64 discs. So just keep those two in mind. Those two will come, you know, if you keep those two in mind, that every room you enter, try and survive at least 20 seconds, try and uh, die by each disc. If you can't do it, and, and you're struggling now, that's fine. Don't panic about it. When you get your abilities later on, come back to the room later on. Just don't panic if you can't do it for over 20 seconds. Just come back to the room later on. And you can tell when you've done it for over 20 seconds because the white boxes will become gold. So if you um, go into the start menu there, um, go, uh, scroll over with the right bumper. And as you can see on the right, you've got the stats. It'll tell you uh, how many discoveries you've made, how many um, rooms you've discovered, etc, etc. But what we are actually going to do now is we're going to beat the first boss of the game called the Armoured Gatekeeper. Now, this one's very easy. Just dash yourself into him and that's it. That's all you do. Just dash yourself into him. As soon as it starts, press the A button to dash in. He explodes. <laughs> now, obviously, legit would have been a bit trickier, but that is how we do that. So, when that one is beaten, all you got to do is just kill yourself into the spinning disc with these sort of glowing green orb around it, and that is going to get us our second ability. Now, as you can see as well, the time on the top left-hand corner has actually stopped. That's because the further we go into the game, you have to do things to make the time move forward. So for here, you have to step on the big giant button. That is what gets the time forward. Later on, you'll have to collect these little golden orbs in order to um, use it for a second, etc, etc. Um, but um, yeah, again, you will just come into them nice and easily. So again, like I said, keep having a look at the discs. As you can see there, it'll say discs. I've already got two out of four in this room now. As the achievement finally unlocks. Again, may take a while for them to unlock. But as we keep going and you start getting used to the game a little bit more, you know what to do with the objectives. Um, you know, by now it should start getting quite a bit easier. Um, but all you've got to do for this bit then, don't run into him. You're, that's not going to work. What you have to do is wait until he nips off, stand on the button here, and it, literally, <laughs> within two seconds, Broski explodes these. So, well, that comes in handy for us, doesn't it? Uh, but that's the, um, that's the overgrown gatekeeper done. If we head to the door on the left, and again, what we're actually waiting for then is for the achievement to unlock. Like I said, they can be quite buggy. But again, as I've said earlier, every room that you go into... Have a look and go into every disc. So, as you can see then, there was two discs in here that I haven't been killed by yet. Just run into both of them, and then that's another two sort of off the list. Now, literally, for I think like 85%, um, the discs will just... And again, try to survive every 20 seconds um, in every room. Uh, what we're going to do is go all the way down to the bottom right there, which was the star map. Um, now, this will come in handy a little bit later on. You can run into it if you want, but this will be the first gold room that we are going to um, accomplish. There's nothing, again, that we can do in here yet, but what it does is open up the first question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark room to the right. So, that is what we are actually going to be going for next, and that will unlock us the gold one achievement. Um, yes, so, there we go. So, now we can go to the right. Now, don't worry about getting 20 seconds. You don't have to get 20 seconds on any of these maps. So don't panic about that. Um, again, you can if you want. If you want to set yourself a nice little challenge. 
but you know, don't don't worry your butt snatchers off about it if uh, if you know if you can't. Of course, there's going to be a few new discs in here if you just want to kill yourself by them. But that'll be the gold one achievement, eventually <laughs> unlocking anyway. Um, but yeah, you know, hopefully, as you've got to this point, you've sort of known, you sort of know what to do a bit more in terms of trying to survive 20 seconds in every room, trying to get killed by every disc, because like I said, 85% are very easy, it's just the last couple that may be a bit tricky. But we are going into the room that is called Infrared. Now, if you press the A button right now, and then press the A button again, that will get us the new ability called Absorb. Which again will come in handy a little later on. Don't you? I don't end up using it too much, but that is the third ability that we've got. So you press the A button to suck something up, and then you can go into a new room and then press the A button again. So what we're going to do then? We're going to go to the next boss, the third boss, which is the Phantom Gatekeeper. Again, this one's going to be very easy. You'll just have to wait a few seconds. You can see a golden orb's dropped. Go into that. That is Explodio. Um, so you can just collect that. Keep spamming through. Now, to get 20 seconds in this room can be a little bit tricky a little bit later on, just because it takes ages to drop at least 20 of these bombs. So these are, like I said, one of the rooms. Every time that you collect one of the, the um, golden orbs, that adds one second. So you need to collect 20 of these, and of course the room does get a little full, but that is where the dash ability comes into it later. So then, next up, what we're going to be doing is going to the room called First Blood. First Blood on the left-hand side. And then when we open up, we're just going to run straight into here to get the new ability called Clone. So, every time that you press the A button, I think you may have to collect um, some of the golden orbs. It doesn't always work all the time. But when you keep pressing the A button, you will get to clone yourself. So, you know, the more you, the more you clone, the easier the level becomes. Until you all run into him, of course. Uh, <laughs> so, obviously, just, you know, keep in mind that one. And remember, of course, every room that we go into, remember, try to survive every 20 seconds, try to die by all discs. If you can't again, again, do not worry, you're all butt snatches off about them. Uh, that is literally fine. So, what we are going to be doing next, there's going to be a set of levels called the something antibodies. So, it's like toxic antibody, uh, there's the first one actually, toxic antibody, and then brutal antibody, blah, blah, blah. So, there are four levels in a row that we have to complete in a row in order to get uh, another achievement and a secret room to open up. So, uh, to, to beat these, what you got to do is collect these golden orbs, and you'll know when it's defeated when the big sort of germ-looking thing does that. It sort of disappears for a couple of seconds. Um, but for now, just keep collecting. Don't die just yet. Keep collecting all the golden orbs until it comes back. And that will unlock us the Skeleton Revival achievement. So keep collecting the orbs until it disappears. Collect another couple until it reappears. And that is how you get the Skeleton Revival. But that is uh, that is how you know that you have beaten, you know, quote unquote defeated one of these um, big germy antibodies. And then you can just kill yourself and move on to the next room. So... Again, make sure you've collected enough of those to disappear, and then you can kill yourself. Next, go one left to go to the Ravenous Antibody, and it's going to be the same thing here. So you just have to wait. Keep collecting these golden orbs until um, the big germ thing disappears. That is exactly not how to do it, by the way. Um, now, again, it doesn't matter if you die. Just as long as you've done these four antibody levels in a row, sort of back to back, that is how we get the secret room and the walls have eyes achievement. So just bear in mind that one. So we've just defeated him. As you can see, he disappeared and we collected another couple, so he reappeared again. So, like I said, now you can go ahead and kill yourself. Or, like I said, if you want to try and survive for 20 seconds, which is exactly what I'm trying to do here. Um, try and survive every 20 seconds, of course, because it just makes it a bit easier for you then a little bit later on. And one more. Come in. Come in. And like I said, this is why it's no point me doing a, a full walkthrough, because there's no good way or no tips and tricks, you know, tips and tricks to go about it. You've just got to use your abilities carefully, and, you know, obviously the, the enemies are going to be placed in random bits, so... But there we go then, so now I know he's definitely defeated, we've got over 20 seconds, now I can stop showing off, and let's die. Hm? Die. There we go. So, that's 22 seconds done. 
Lovely. Next one, if you go down one, it'll be the third antibody, which will be the rotten antibody. Now, you can see a new objective there called feed, question mark, question mark, question mark, four, question mark, question mark, question mark. We need the clone ability. So, as you begin, press the B button to go onto swap. Um, put, put yourself to clone. Sorry, I've done it very, very quickly then. Um, but this is the level uh, that we need to do. Now, it may not work straight away, but as long as you've got your clone ability, grab a couple of these orbs... And then just keep spamming the A button. Now, again, these achievements may be glitchy on you. But for me, I just put all four where the little hole was. As you can see right there, it was a little hole. And eventually, he'll sort of just appear and bite you dead, boys. Mm. But, um, yeah, we need four. So what I tried doing there, I just kept cloning as many as I could. <laughs> again, this may be a bit annoying just because of the random projectiles floating about trying to kill you off and stuff. You can do it all at once, or you can um, do it one by one. As long as the big mouth in the ground, the old big badge teeth, gets all four clones eaten, um, you will unlock the achievement and complete the objective as well. So eventually, come on, you big hungry piece of... Ah, there we go. So, there we go. I managed to get all four in one again. Don't worry if you can't manage to get all four. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do it one by one as well. So there are two ways to go about the achievement. So that'll be the there's enough for everybody. For the fat ground as it were. And now obviously what we can do is just keep going around. Collecting all the golden orbs until we... Um, yeah, until we can defeat the antibody and then we can move on. So, with that one done, go to the last one, which is to the left of you, called the Brutal Antibody. Um, and again, it's just the same thing. It is just the same thing. Keep collecting the golden orbs until it gets defeated. Uh -huh, ha, 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 ha. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a ginger man. And ginger people are the fastest things on the planet. Apparently. According to science, which I just made up. But still, keep collecting the orbs. There you go. That is dead as an absolute dead thing on Deadland. It's deader than my... Well, well, I won't talk about anything that's dead on me right now. <laughs> but you can keep collecting it. Now you should be able to die, of course, unless you want to go for the 20 seconds. Which, apparently, that is exactly what I'm doing right now. And again, I know this video is 50 minutes long, but it's... It's me just showing you things like that, rather than just showing you, this is how you get an achievement, you know, try and figure it out yourself. I'm just trying to, you know, ease it along with you, because this game can get quite overwhelming, as it were, sometimes. Uh, so, uh, come in. And this is why I always end up using the dash ability, to be honest. It's a lot, lot easier than everything else. There we go. Try and grab the... Haha, <laughs> you and get me a big vag teeth ground. So, that's 20 seconds done. And that's the antibody defeated again. So with that, now with the door at the top, of course, you can see has opened up. And that is for defeating all the four different antibodies in a row. So if you go off to another level, um, you'll just have to go through all four of those levels again. You know, it's easy enough. But this is the room. This is where we'll get the Walls Have Eyes achievements. Plus, you can kill yourself with one of these golden discs. Now... We have to kill ourselves with 12 different golden discs for another achievement later on. But I will show you all that in one run. So don't panic yourselves about that one. I'm going to show you all in one run. So next we're going to go to the sort of bottom, well, the sort of bottom left-hand corner there to go, the, to go to the carnivorous gatekeeper. Again, apologies if I was a bit quick on the map. And the same thing, just wait until he nips over to the right. Grab a couple of these golden orbs, that will explode him. And that will get you the Celestial Body achievement. Celestial Bari. And, uh, yeah, so again, apologies if I... <laughs> I was a bit quick, um... Been a bit quick showing you stuff on the map there, but... Yeah, the Carnivorous Gatekeeper is on the long rows in the middle. It's on the bottom left-hand corner. So, like, right there. So there it is. Right, next thing what we're going to do then, we're going to go to the next golden room, which is called Rare Element. So this is, and it's just below where the uh, Carnivorous Gatekeeper was. So when we discover this golden room, you can kill yourselves with the Giant Saw um, to get another golden disc opportunity. This is a puzzle that we have to do with another ability a bit later on. But like I said, all the golden discs, all 12 golden discs, I'm going to be showing you all in one big run. But that'll be the Gold 2 achievement. Now what we're going to be doing then is just start smashing through the game until we start getting up towards the top. 
And here we are then. So, again, keep trying to do what you've been doing. Um, you know, surviving every 20 seconds, etc. What we're going to do, though, is in these rooms, they are a bit trickier. So, you only get sort of four tenths of a second added for every white um, floor tile that you go over. And in the scientific method level, this is where we get the blast ability. So, we've only got one left to grab now. Uh, so, these levels at the very top... Uh, sort of close to the end of the game, if you will. This is what you got to do. So if you go onto the safety first achievement, go onto dash, and then what you need to do is just go around the outer rings, missing the middle one, dashing it up, and that is how you get that achievement. So every time you go onto the middle ones there, it actually takes one away, as you can see. Um, so just make sure to go around, and then just press dash to go over the middle ones. That is how you do that. Now, you need to get to 25 in order to open up the level above you as well. So, for the next one, what we're going to do is go to Binary Orbit. This is going to be the third golden disc room. Plus, it's also going to get us um, the last and final ability. So, if we, what we need to do then, kill yourself and then you need to put the clone on. Eventually. So there we go. So we need to put the clone ability on now. And then what you need to do is just keep cloning yourself. And then you need to, one of your clones just to run into the big giant disc on the right hand side. The one that cannot follow you. And when that's done, you can kill yourselves. And that is where you get the mirror ability and the final ability with it. Job done. Look at that. Nice. So, again, I've got to apologise. If I'm going a bit too quickly, I do apologise. Uh, it's kind of a fast-paced game, um, but hopefully <laughs> um, hopefully, it doesn't take you too long anyway. So, that will get you the Power Surge achievement and, of course, the Gold 3 achievement for grabbing the third room. The Mirror ability I never really use, only to grab two discs a bit later on. But what we're going to do now, we're going to start grabbing a couple of... Um, uh, miscellaneous achievements... So, before going up to the ultimate gatekeeper at the very, very top here, just in case I went to grab the rest of the miscellaneous achievements, what we're going to do is put uh, do spawn kill. So, go to all the way to the bottom on the right-hand side called get a room. And then what you need to do, if you swap, you need to put your slow ability on, press and hold the A button as the level begins, and then go in and kill yourself. But you have to do it as it begins. You can't press you can't start the level and then press the a button because there will be because time will be added so you need to just press and hold the a button and what that will do then is start the level plus it will uh, keep the slow ability on and then you could just go and kill yourself as long as it says zero 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 there we go perfect so that is how you do that so you can't press the start button you can't start the level sorry and then press the slow button you've got to hold the a button and that is what will get you the spawn kill achievement right next up what we're going to be doing is dying from four different disc types in one life uh, to get the multi casket achievement very very easy what we need to do is just use our clone ability next so we're going to go to the cut-up achievement here, because there are four discs in here. Press B, of course, now to swap. And then what we're going to do is go into our clone ability. And you just have to be, you know, you just have to be a bit careful here. Just be very, very careful. Uh, but this is the cut-up level here, just at the bottom of the map. Now, by the way, when I say rows from top to bottom, I'm going to go rows from one down but i'll explain that in a bit anyway so clone yourself like hell make sure one dies from this blue one make sure a couple of clones die from the big one make sure you get one of the clones to die from the wall discs at the very top spinning around the walls and then one that will just die of the smaller of the discs so the smaller discs floating around by the big one right there and as soon as you've done all four, so the wall disc, the big disc, the floating smaller discs in the middle, and the wall disc, that will get you the multi-casket achievement. Now, for kind of, this is one of the sort of more obscure, potentially trickier ones to grab. It's called the Enigma achievement. So what we need to do, go to the level here called the Grass is Greener. You need to do these in a specific order, in a specific way. So, get the Absorb ability. Obviously, if you don't have the Absorb Ability on yet, just go back and grab the Absorb Ability after you're killing yourself. That's why these achievements we're doing now, because you have to get the abilities a little bit later on. So, go ahead, grab the Absorb Ability, 
uh, step on the giant bubble, uh, the, the giant disc in the middle. Now, absorb the four spinning discs before they um, go out, basically. So, absorb that one, and that will be absorbed. I don't know where we're absorbing it, but we'll save that for another day. Go up to the level here called uh, Timeless, which is just to the sort of top right, right here. So, go to the level called Timeless. So now what we need to do, when we start, press the A button, but move away. Wait for a few seconds until the disc um, disappears. There you go, and uh, evaporates and breaks. Now we can die. Now what that will do, we, we can now head to the right. As you can see, the green flash and arrow on the screen. What we can do now is head to the right. Because if you press the start button, the room will still be, uh, you know, sort of locked. So you need to come on here. You need to now go to the right hand side. And that will open up a new room for us called The Path. So what we're going to do, when we start The Path, we're going to die immediately. So die immediately, but don't press the start button to go into the map. Now what we need to do is we need to use the arrows to navigate the rooms. So, again, do not go into your map just yet. Go left, down, down, left, up, right, up. Now this will take us back to the timeless level. We can press the A button, we can start the timeless level properly, but that is what will get us the Enigma achievement. So remember, without using the map, it was left, down, down, left, up, right, up. And that is how we get the Enigma achievement. And kill, make sure to kill yourself here with the golden disc. Uh, very, very important to do that for the uh, golden disc a uh, little later on. Um, for the Voyager achievement, sorry, later on. So now what we can do is actually go ahead and kill the Ultimate Gatekeeper. And then what we're actually going to do, we're going to kill the Ultimate Gatekeeper first. He, like, sort of sucks you in. All you need to do is just grab one of those golden orbs, as you can see. That will destroy him the first time. Grab the golden orb, and basically then, now that goes, And again, we've completed the game, yeah! With that guy's, you know, derp face. <laughs> oh my god, I exploded. That's what happens when you have cheesy chips and beans, but god damn it tastes so good. So, that one's done. Now that we've sort of, you know, quote unquote, completed the game, what will happen now? You can just press the right bumper here to skip through the credits if you so wish. Oops, hello. Uh, thanks for playing, thanks very much. But what it does now is actually it unlocks hard mode for us. Now there are a couple of achievements related to hard mode, but it's not that hard, again, with the assist on. Now, when you, I think if... I would press the A button there to press uh, to start the hard map. I think that's probably the reason why it glitched out on me. Um, so if you start the hard mode, you will probably get the again ach the achievement called again. So what you need to do now is just kill the ultimate gatekeeper with every single ability. So we've already done dash. That's fine. That's why you see me taking on too slow. Uh, now, you don't actually kill him. What you have to do is collect one of these golden orbs when they appear. And he turns gold. Run into him, and that is basically, for one, that will get you another golden disc um, counted towards you. And plus, that is actually how you complete the level after you've completed him. So, then we can use the clone ability again. Collect one of the golden orbs, run into him. For whatever particular reason, I don't know why, but that is how we do it. Next, we can just choose the absorb. I'm not sure if you actually have to absorb anything, or you just pick up the ability... Collect a golden orb and then run into him when he's in his golden state. Notice anything, Lenny? Hey, Homer, what you get? A haircut or something? Look closer, Lenny. Oh, you're the biggest man in the world now. And you're covered in gold. <laughs> Etc. Homer laugh. Well, you know how it goes. Right, but that is how we do all that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, just uh, going off a tandem there with a Simpsons quote. Uh, but yeah, just using every ability... Again, not sure if you have to use the ability once, but don't worry if you do, don't worry if you don't. I think you just have to uh, start the level with the ability. Um, you know, don't quote me on that, just let me know if it's wrong, right, or if I was just being a silly shoy. Anyway, when you've beaten him six times with all different abilities, you'll get the multitasker achievement. Now, what I ended up doing, now you can see there's a couple of white boxes, which just turned to gold thanks to cheeky editing. I just decided to go back through every single room just to see if I can get what I can do uh, for surviving 20 seconds in every room, plus trying to get any discs that I may have missed. So again, there's still quite a few left, but I'm just trying to sort of clean up as I'm going along. I'm actually waiting for the achievement to unlock first, but since we're in the room, 
the uh, the safety room, whatever it's bloody called. Remember this one? We have to go all around the outer edges, dashing over the middle um, row, and just getting all the outer red, uh, the outer tiles black, so you just unlock the achievement later on. Also, I'm very sorry that I didn't show it, but this is a level called Homesick. Now, this is a bit of a pain in the bum. So, what you have to do to get the 20 seconds on here, go into your settings, change the game speed down to 20%, and turn the disc speed up to 100%. Now, there is a reason we're doing that, um, because basically, the disc in the middle, if you leave the disc speed on at 10%, it doesn't actually move. So you need to put the disc speed at 100% so that it starts moving about the joint. Um, now, what all you have to do is just keep basically manipulating the game speed. So by pressing the right bumper there to fast forward, and if you think you're about to get hit, take your, uh, take your finger off the right bumper so that you can actually just move quickly past the um, arrows and all the things that want to kill you. And I got lucky with that one, but that is how you get the home sick level for um, beating it in 20 seconds. Now, obviously, just go back into your settings, turn the game speed back up to 100% and disc speed back down to 10%. But of course, you'll have to swap them to get the homesick uh, level. Just the easiest way that I found that doing. Right, next we're gonna go over to the Phantom Gatekeeper. And the reason we're doing this then is we're gonna just dive from all discs in one zone. So, like I said, with the cleanup earlier on, uh, trying to survive 20 seconds in every room, same with dying from all discs in every room, uh, which we'll get the achievement, uh, let it rip and in the zone for dying from every disc in just one zone. So you will get that, that will come naturally anyway, so nay panic. But as we can see on the map here, we need to die from 60 disc types. Now, a lot of those are in boss rooms, and there's a different way to grab them. I'll explain in just a bit. But what we're going to do is go over to hard, the hard rooms right here. Now, there's only a couple of things that we need to do, okay? So we have to basically go through all the rooms again. But the achievements are, you need to explore all the hard rooms, which will come naturally as long as you do every level. We need to survive 20 seconds in any hard room. So that is just one room that we need to do, which again, there's a lot of levels, especially down towards the bottom of the map, which will come in a lot, uh, which you'll be able to get 20 seconds easy. And we need to survive 10 seconds in every hard room. So that, just remember that one then. You need to survive 10 seconds in every hard room. As long as you've got the accessibility options on, uh, you should have no troubles with doing that one, to be honest. Um, but again, if not, don't panic. Um, the only thing hard about it is there's just more projectiles and discs and stuff for you to, uh, you know, try and avoid and stuff. So, and then the other one is just for completing hard mode. So, you know, quite easy. But again, the <laughs> quote-unquote again achievement for starting hard mode glitched out on me. I'm not sure if you actually had to start it earlier on instead of going back into the other room. But, you know, uh, well, tis what it is, huh? Pain in the old bollock bag. But, so remember, you can only... Don't worry about surviving 20 seconds in every room. You don't only have to do it once and then survive 10 seconds in every hard room. When you have completed them all, what you need to do is go to the disc room, which is all the way at the bottom. Uh, just complete this one again. Now, <laughs> annoyingly, what will happen as well, the achievements won't unlock until you actually complete the hard room mode. So when we do that, after completing the disc room, don't... Uh, push down so we are back to the hole at the like we were at the very beginning of the game and just you know stick your nuggets straight in there lube yourself up and dive right in turkey dive right in turkey but what should be happening now is many achievements should be unlocking so there's the 10 surviving 10 seconds in every hard room surviving 20 seconds in any hard room and then when we jump through the hole the other two achievements will unlock there for completing hard mode and Oh, no, the other achievement, sorry, for completing hard mode. So as soon as you jump through the hole, for whatever reason, my Xbox was being a complete doucheberg and I wasn't unlocking the achievements. That's why you don't see me unlock them. Uh, but that's all we got to do for hard mode then. So, happy days. All we got to do left then is just a couple more. So we're getting through it, <laughs> slowly getting through it. Now what we have to do then is basically discover the fourth golden room, explore all rooms. Now the way that we do that... So remember earlier on, there was one room, there it is, uh, the sort of 
on the third row, the second square, that is locked. Now we have to die from 60 disc types. So if you're still looking for more and you're not sure what to do, if you just skip ahead a little bit and go to my Voyager achievement, I will show you how to get the 10 golden discs if you don't have them already. But the main ones that were troubling me was... Um, in the boss rooms, what you have to do, if you're still missing one in the boss rooms and you're like, what the hell? Um, what you need to do is uh, keep picking up the gold orbs and when you do enough damage to it, then you can run into it and die. Took me a while to figure that one out, but that is how we do an extra one of the discs. So when it starts sort of breaking down and looks damaged, then run into it and die. And that is how you get the extra disc from the boss rooms. And then when we get uh, 60 then we can go ahead and move on and finally do what we need to do. So, first things first, what we're going to do is go into the rare element level, get your blast um, get your blast ability out. Now, the two golden discs here, we need to push all the way to the top of the room. This is where we're going to start doing the Voyager achievement, by the way. Um, when they have both hit the sort of door or whatever, the top of the room, they should both leave the purple trails behind. And that is basically the first puzzle done. So now what you can just do is uh, just kill yourself is fine. And that would be, be uh, the end of that one. But as long as they go to purple trails and they try killing you. Next, we're going to go to gold frequency. As long as we've died from 60 different disc types. Now we can go on to the new level here. Um, which is the third row, second square. So, third row from sort of top to bottom. What we'll do is get another two achievements here as well, providing, of course, this is your last one. But what we need to do is we need to get our Absorb ability next, as soon as we begin. Yep, there it is. Right. So, there are two discs that are floating on the wall. What you need to do is press the A button to drag it. Um, again, here comes the achievements. You can die now if you want. In fact, yeah, we will die to restart the level. So you use the absorb ability on the golden disc along the wall. We've died to restart the level, just waiting for the two achievements to unlock. So you should get the Explorer and the four, and the Golden 4 achievement. Um, I mean, you know, you might have got that one a little bit earlier or whatever. Now we can press the A button again to release the golden disc from the um, from our sort of inventory or whatever. Now what we got to do is simply grab the other two golden discs, put them both on the floor, and that is how you complete this puzzle. So you can see these sort of uh, little markings or whatever have lit up white. And now again, you can kill yourself if you want to get that disc. Make sure to kill yourself as well from the other disc here. So um, absorb one, put it on the floor, and kill yourself when it is in four. So a lot of them, again, very, very tricky to miss. Uh, just sort of dead discs, but of course we need to still get the 64 dying from discs achievement as well So make sure that you've killed yourself from those two there Just showing you So when that one is done, what we're gonna do is go to binary orbit puzzle, which is row 3 and square 6 Now for some reason I'm going the completely opposite way So like I said from top to bottom is row 1 down to row whatever So row 3 um, Square 6 is binary orbit now what we have to do with this one is we need to use our clone ability while we're walking to get, uh, to basically give ourselves distance from this from the clone. Then we need to kill our clone with the disc tracking you. Now, obviously, if you've been following the guide so far, you would have got the achievement and you would have got this in your inventory anyway. But for, for the specific Voyager achievement, I'm just showing you exactly what to do in case you've missed one, in case you missed some, in case you're needing some. So. What we have to do now is just go ahead and grab the rest of them. Now, what we're going to do is go to the ultimate gatekeeper. Now, you would have got this one, um, you know, uh, story related automatically anyway. From the achievement where we killed the ultimate gatekeeper with six different abilities. Now, remember what we have to do when we beat him for the first time. When we use a different ability or whatever, we collect a gold orb. The ultimate gatekeeper turns gold. We run into him. That actually counted as um, one of the golden discs. So just in case you were wondering, for some reason it's not working for me, so I can't actually show you, but you would have done that one anyway. Um, next, we'll go to row 7, square 3, which is the Blade Runner, the Blades Runner. Again, 
a lot of these you would have probably gotten already, but again, just, just for the sake of achievement, I'm showing you what to do, uh, just so there's no uh, confusion. But we go to Blade Runner, wait for around 10 seconds or so until the big golden disc um, appears, because of course you may not have got it. So, you know, it's <laughs> it's always nice of me to uh, help you out, as it were. So there's the golden big giant disc. Now all you got to do is just wait until you can kill yourself from it. Yeah, <laughs> easy, red, <laughs> Red. There we go, so that is that one done. Next, next, what we're going to do is go to the level called A Change of Pace, which is row 4, square 4. And again, it's the, all we got to do then is just wait around 20 seconds or so, 10, 20 seconds. Wait in the circle, in the middle, and obviously, you know, try not to die. It should spawn eventually, there it is, so go and kill yourself from that if you haven't done that already. Next, we're going to go to the Golden Carcass, which is row 4, square 1. And remember, you can only get this open. We would have done this one anyway earlier. If you complete all the antibody um, levels in a row. So the Toxic, Ravenous, Rotted, and Brutal Antibodies. Make sure you've done all those four in a row. Go onto the Golden Carcass. And again, this is one because we unlocked an achievement for it earlier on. Run yourself into there. Uh, run yourself into the small golden disc, and that will get you the golden carcass and golden boner. Not the golden boner, but the golden bones anyway. Right, next, again, this is something that we would have got earlier, called the golden enigma, which is from the timeless. Now, remember the enigma achievement we got earlier on? So, we what we have to do is select the path. If you don't have it, select the path, which is the room one squared directly from the right of timeless, then input left, down, down, left, up, right, up, and start timeless. And after a couple of seconds, um, it, um, it you'll die from the disc and give us the Enigma achievement too. Next, and then lastly, what we need to do is go to the Danger Zone achievement. Now, I didn't just show you the last one because we would have got it earlier again. Go to the Danger Zone, which is row 2, square 3. Now, what we have to do is use the... Now, this one can be potentially tricky, but I'll show you exactly what to do. All you got to do is, as you can see, use the slow ability, go up one, and then just go around the middle square so it's all black. So you have to use the slow ability and then go around the middle one, otherwise it will not work. So if it doesn't work, just keep on trying, and the disc should spawn immediately from the middle there. So when we do that, we can now go to the star map, which is basically sort of at the very bottom there. And then instead of a golden disc, a golden orb should appear... And that is how we get the Voyager achievement. And job done, job done. So again, apologies if I was a bit quick there on showing you the Danger Zone one. But you have to use your slow ability um, in order to not touch the square that you already start on. So you just go around uh, the middle square where the enemies start. Okay, right then, <laughs> with that one done, the Voyager... Now what we're going to end up doing is dying from all discs. Now, for me, there was only two left that I had to get. And for, for some reason, I was having the hardest time trying to figure it out. Like I said, I would have explained to you, or hopefully you would have gotten uh, the boss ones earlier. For me, it was only the boss ones that I found um, any particularly tricky. And like I said, literally, you just have to damage the boss enough until it starts getting damaged and then run into it. The two hardest ones, though, that I found were in the later levels where they've got the the, the sort of disc with a like, glowing, sort of shadowy orb around it, and you can't get close to it at all. What you actually need to do is use your mirror ability, and you need to mirror yourself on top of this disc. But, of course, with all of the uh, discs and stuff already flying around, it can be potentially tricky. Um... It can be tricky to sort of put yourself in a position where the same disc is and that you potentially may not die. Of course, you'll know when you've hit that particular disc is when when you uh, die, it'll say um, that you've completed basically all discs in this room. So just keep trying to go exactly, you know, the other side. Obviously, you need to go to the opposite side of wherever the discs are going. Press the A button to mirror yourself and hopefully you'll mirror yourself onto it and into it. And I did get the achievement early, but if you want, just go ahead, do the other one so that you've collected all discs. Now, I'm going to show you, uh, what we're going to go for then is 20 seconds in every room. What you need to do, go to the path level first, and then absorb one of these starlights. Next, and then just die if you want. Next, go to perfect dark, 
When you start, press the A button and then walk away. Now what this does is actually gives you um, a bit of light. So it's not just totally luck based. You can use a slow ability if you want, but it doesn't really give you that much light. This is the easiest way I found. Grab one of these star lights from the path level, come back, and that lights up the way for you nicely. So now you can just keep walking around. That is how the easiest way that I've done the perfect dark level. Otherwise, it's just literally, literally a <laughs> blind luck. Um, so like I said, you have to go through every level except the golden room levels. The ones with this sort of, where it's all black and it's like the red squares and stuff on it. You don't have to get 20 seconds in there. Now, the lobotomy level, once again, was a bit of a pain. They were the two biggest sort of pains in the butt snatches for me. Just because there's so much going on. Um... If you want to, of course, you can, like, again, the dash ability for me worked out wondrous here. Uh, you know, just keep at it. You know, the, the orbs will be in a specific position nicely for you, enough to, in order to beat it. Um, so I thought you had to do every 20 seconds in every level, but these ones, the question mark levels, they don't count. What you should also have by now, if you've gone enough into the game and every uh, room is unlocked, you should have the Pioneer achievement as well. For me, it did not unlock, which is a pain in the butt, so I have to go through all that one again. It's actually really frustrating, to be fair. Um, but now, for me, like I said, two <laughs> glitched out. The Again for starting hard mode achievement and Pioneer for literally just exploring. That's all it is as well. It's... It's literally just for exploring all the question mark rooms. I tried absolutely everything in order for it to unlock. I tried getting off the speed, um, you know, up in the speed, up in the, the disc speed and all that to see if, um, if that worked. But basically, you would have done all of the requirements, which is basically for exploring all the rooms, all the hard rooms, surviving 999 seconds. You would have literally done it all. Uh, but for whatever reason, it didn't unlock for me. So, hopefully... And I'm really hoping that you guys, and as you can see on the on the stats menu here on the discs, rooms 100 out of 101, but discovery 65 out of 64, and completions 199%. So I'm afraid if that if your completion is looking like that, it means that you've got a, a bugged achievement or something's happened. You will have to start the game again and go for that particular one again. So again, for me, it's a pain in the ass, but it is the pioneer achievement that I have to go for. So there we go then, guys and gals, but hopefully you didn't run into any bugs or anything. Hopefully you would have gotten the achievements fantastically, um, without issues as well. Um, hopefully they find a bug for this, because it does get very frustrating. Some games are just so enjoyable that it gets totally ruined when you've got to go through a game again, just because of a bugged achievement or whatever. But anyway, like I said... I do have to apologise if um, a couple of things and a couple of things were quite quickly explained or I showed a little bit too quickly. I do apologise. Um, I'll try and slow that down next time. I did try to cover absolutely everything. If there's something that you're still stuck on or anything, just let me know and I will let you know in the comments section below. I will reply um, if there is, again, something that you are particularly stuck on. Uh, just let me know and I will uh, try my best to help you. But I think I covered every basis. Might might have been few, a few things I missed. But anyway, there we go then, guys and gals. So that is the very, very cool and very, very awesome disc room. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Really hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. I hope, and again, I hope the guide helped. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just legendary. And with that one done, I'll see you in the next Game Pass game. But guys and gals, Big love.